My name is Shiraz Belolia and I'm the founder and CEO of Grizzly Industrial Inc. In my early days of selling machinery, I would transport 10 drill presses at a time from my warehouse in my VW heavy van. That van sold me well, even though I destroyed the shocks on it. Since then, we've sold tens of thousands of drill presses and have the largest selection of drill presses under one brand in the USA. We also have a huge selection of drill chucks and arbors and today I'm going to walk you through selecting the right drill chuck and arbor for a drill press, milling machine or a lathe tail stock. Let me change into shop clothes for that. There are several types of spindles and arbors as well as drill chucks that have different backs on them. Let's start with the type of spindles. Small drill presses have external tapers that stick out from the spindle. This drill press has a JT33 taper. Larger drill presses have an internal taper that usually is Morse taper number 2, 3, or 4. In this case, on this drill press, it is Morse taper number 2. Some industrial sized drill presses, as well as smaller milling machines, have an R8 spindle, which requires an R8 arbor. Larger milling machines and CNC machines usually have an NT type spindle. The long part of the arbor is always the Morse taper R8 or the more industrial NT taper. The stubby part is always the Jacobs taper. Whether you're replacing an old worn out chuck in your existing drill press or upgrading to a good quality chuck like this South Band chuck, this guide will help you select the right combination for your machine. The taper inside the spindle, the tapers on the arbor, and the female taper on the drill chuck are all friction fit tapers. That means they need to be absolutely clean and oil and grease free before inserting the arbor. Wipe off the protective oil or grease with some rags and then with some alcohol or degreaser to remove any remnant traces of oil. Do this to the spindle, both sides of the arbor and the taper hole of the drill chuck as well. Smaller drill chucks usually have a smaller taper hole in the back. Let's say that you want to replace the factory chuck that comes with this baby drill press with a fine quality chuck like this South Bend chuck. This drill press has a JT33 external taper, so you don't need an arbor. This little chuck has a JT33 female in its back, so we can simply clean both parts and fit them together. Moving on to the larger drill press with more taper spindle. We have a huge choice of chucks that can fit this drill press. We have many more on grizzly.com than what is shown on this bench. First, pick the chuck that you would like. If you want a half inch chuck like this one, it has a Jacobs taper number 33 on the back. So we need to find an arbor that has a Morse taper number two and a Jacobs number 33 on the small end. Let's put them together. Now we're gonna slip it into the spindle. Make sure the inside of the spindle is clean and dry. Next, let's look at this larger industrial drill press. It has an R8 spindle taper on it. All R8 arbors have a threaded end on the back to accept a draw bar. The R8 taper is commonly used on milling machines and the draw bar keeps the arbor from falling out when applying side pressure when milling. R8 is also found on some larger drill presses like this guy. As you can see, there's a draw bar that goes through the spindle and snugs the arbor into the spindle. All you have to do is tighten the draw bar and the chuck gets drawn into the spindle. Hence the name draw bar. We also sell integral drill chucks. 
What this means is that the chuck body and the arbor are machined from a single piece of stock and are commonly used when more accuracy is required, like on milling machines, late tail stocks, or CNC machines. We offer integral drill chucks in various tapers like MT2, MT3, MT4, R8, and CAT 30 and 40. We hope that this video has helped guide you to find the right combination for your machine and shed some clarity on the mystery of drill chucks and arbors. We have a huge selection of high quality drill chucks to fit any budget at grizzly.com. Thank you for watching, and I'm done.